Hello everyone and welcome back to Cinema. This week what we are going to cover are the 1920s. This is a time in film history where filmmakers are still learning how the medium is even going to work. So there's a lot of experimentation and there's a lot of breakthroughs and almost every day there's a breakthrough because they are inventing the medium as it's coming out. Now, what you are going to do this week and every week from here on out is you're going to go to filmsite.org and you are going to read about each decade and then you're going to have a quiz on it. And then you're going to watch two groundbreaking films from each decade. Now, I've picked some of the films for you and you can choose to watch those films or in your reading if you find an even better film, something that really, really sticks out to you and you want to watch that film, well, feel free to let me know what that film is, go and see that film, and then you can do your movie notes and your breakdowns on that film instead. But make sure to check with me first, and I also want you to expand your knowledge. So don't pick a film you already know or have seen a bunch of times. Try to find a movie that you haven't seen. Okay, so the first film that I've chosen for you is the film Nosferatu. Now, Nosferatu is... Uh, it's the first horror movie ever made. The first. Like, this is, if you enjoy horror movies, this is the one that started all of it. Now, what they did is they took Bram Stoker's Dracula, they didn't get the rights to it, so they changed the names and just plagiarized the entire story. And they took it, and they didn't have the money to build these elaborate sets so they went out in to these old abandoned castles and they filmed it in the day but what they did is they used shadows and these shadows that were cast because they didn't have lights at the time like with their filming so they used these shadows to create these creepy images and this film is even to date the closest representation, the closest adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula that has ever come to pass. And they plagiarized the whole thing. Well, in fact, they were sued by Bram Stoker's estate and they were forced to destroy all of the copies that were made of this film. And with that, later they were able to piece together some of the fragments that were able to make it and then they remastered it. And so you can find this film with the original soundtrack, you can, which I've provided for free, but you can also find it with like a punk metal soundtrack, and it's a silent film, so really you don't have to have music at all with it, because movies at this time didn't have any sound. So what you would do is have somebody sit with a piano and just play sheet music along with the movie. So you can watch it with whatever soundtrack you want. However, you're going to see so many breakthroughs and all of the vampire stereotypes that you find in modern films, they come from this movie. So you're going to be able to see where they come from, how these ideas came to be. And if you like the use of creepy shadows and imagery, well, you got to thank this film. The next film that you can choose to watch is Metropolis. Now, this is the first science fiction film ever made, and I'll tell you what, every movie that is science fiction oriented has stolen their art direction from this film. This film, when you see it, it's just visually stunning, and it changes the way, I feel like not just science fiction movies, but it just changed the way we saw movies. When you watch this movie, it's gonna be so far ahead of its time. Some of the dissolves and things that they do with the film, I mean, it is an epic masterpiece. It is absolutely incredible. So I highly recommend it, especially if you like sci-fi. If you're a big fan of Blade Runner, I mean, they just copied. Again, there's just a whole bunch of plagiarism from later generations going on with these different films that you're gonna watch this, this week. So you can choose to watch Metropolis if you'd like or you can choose to watch the Battleship Potemkin. Now this film is what invented the montage. Now that's where you're collecting a bunch of different images and you're putting these pictures set to music in order to tell a story in a passage of time. This film was propaganda for the time, but when you watch the film, some of the scenes are so iconic, they're mimicked in things in films today. So for example, one of the scenes is there's a big massacre on this, on, on this um, series of steps and a baby carriage is going down the steps and your heart just shatters. That scene, that shot alone has been mimicked in all kinds of films from that point forward. 
the film is it's very captivating it is propaganda so definitely be aware of that however when you're watching these films each of these films pioneered a different part of cinema if you choose to watch a different film well let me know and then you can watch that film instead all right everyone enjoy the films enjoy the reading and i'll see you on the other side